Well hello everybody and welcome back to Satisfactory. Falcon Phoenix here and I just wanted to say I really appreciate all the feedback and suggestions I've been getting. I love reading every single one of your guys' comments and I hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. If you've been following along you'll know that we've got phase 3 completed and we are currently on phase 4. We have just unlocked bauxite refinement and we're into tiers 7 and 8 now. So without further ado let's get going in today's episode. All right, so we're over here by our fuel power plant because this is also a great place to get started with aluminum. There's a bauxite node right up here. There's copper over here. There's obviously plenty of water. And so all we need to do is run two trucks, one for coal, one for quartz from the starter base over to here. And that'll be everything we need for raw resources to get our aluminum production going. So I'm gonna go ahead and build out some foundations here and kind of lay out the footprint and we'll go from there okay we were over there now we're over here built out some foundations here and i'm going to go over briefly what we got going on we have two refineries over here they're going to be making aluminum scrap we have three refineries right here that are going to be making silica and alumina solution over here, we're gonna have constructors taking quartz and making more silica. Our foundries making aluminum ingots are gonna be right here. Here, we're gonna have two assemblers making all clad aluminum sheets. And here, we're gonna have two constructors making aluminum casings. Aluminum production can be kind of intimidating, but once you get into it, it's really not too bad. It's just a matter of making sure your pipe work is balanced out because if it's not then it shuts down and we don't want that. So I'm going to build out the buildings and then I'll show you guys the logistics part. Alright guys, our aluminum production is done and I wanted to walk you guys through the logistics a little bit. I know that aluminum production can be kind of intimidating for newer players, so I wanted to go over it for you guys. In a nutshell, in order to produce an aluminum ingot, we need 450 aluminum scrap and 375 silica. So if you look on the screen, we have three refineries on the left. Those three refineries are producing 300 alumina solution which requires 450 water and 300 bauxite. The two refineries on the right are producing 450 aluminum scrap, and that requires 150 coal and 300 alumina solution. Where things get confusing is that the refineries on the right that are producing our 450 aluminum scrap, they have a byproduct of 150 water. So we have to figure out a way to use the 150 water so that our system doesn't back up and shut down. What we do is we have a water extractor that's producing 300 water. Then we use the 150 water from our scrap production and we route that back into our refineries on the left. So this is the top view. Let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on underneath. All right, so down here, it's pretty simple. These three refineries are requiring 450 water. Well, 150 of that comes from these two refineries coming back down. And then the other 300 is coming from that water extractor right over there. It's not so bad once you get to looking at it. And right here, we have a Mark II pump that is pumping all of our 450 back up there. So it acts as a one-way valve, so nothing backflows this way. So it is only pulling from there and there. 
difficulty? Pretty simple. Let's go up top and explain the belt work. All right, so up top here, it's not too bad. We have a lot going on, but it's actually pretty simple. If you remember from our alumina solution production, we have 125 silica that's coming out. I have that going into a container. Well, we have to supplement that with 250 silica. So I have quartz coming in and we're producing 250 silica coming into the same large container. The aluminum scrap is actually going underneath and it's coming up through conveyor floor holes going into our five foundries. So our foundries are using a total of 450 scrap and 375 silica. All of those aluminum ingots that are coming out of the foundries are getting routed into two constructors that are making aluminum casings and over here into two assemblers that are making our all clad aluminum sheets. These also require copper. So I just ran some copper over here and it's coming in, going underneath and popping up through these two conveyor floor holes. So that's what's making our aluminum all clad sheets. Both of them go underneath and they come over here into our storage containers with an overflow going into an awesome sink because we do not want this to back up. So there we go. And I know by the time it took me to explain this, I've already got a ton of all clad sheets and casings. So let's grab some of those. Let's head back to the hub and let's unlock logistics Mark V. All right, coming back into the hub and I collected a few things along my way and it looks like we've got everything we need for Logistics Mark V. So grab a few more reinforced iron plates. And there we go. Let's see what else we have to do. Well, we can definitely get some of this loaded. Need some motors. Radio control units. We only need 50 of them. Maybe we have enough tickets. Oh yeah, we've got tickets. Let's use those tickets to get this unlocked. And we could be done with it. Look at that. Now the hover pack, computers. So we need some more Heavy modular frames, motors, and computers. We'll grab some computers. Good thing we've been continuing to stock these up. See, look at that. All that stuff we have, perfect. Look at that. That one's full. We need some gas filters. So let's go ahead and make up some gas filters real quick and we'll send the rest of tier seven off. All right, here we go. Let's send them off. Oh yeah, we got them all sent off. All right, so now we've got all of tier seven done. Got our starter aluminum factory done. I think now we just need to check out the MAM and let's see if we can maybe unlock some stuff. Deuterium needs high speed connectors, high speed connectors, high speed connectors, high speed connectors. Okay, so we need a lot of high speed connectors. Well, we can definitely get the Explorer. We should probably do radar technology. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get some high speed connectors going. So let's do the silicon high speed connector. So we need some quick wire, silica and circuit boards. Well, we've got silica. Wow, would you look at that? How about that? We can just do this. Couldn't have planned it better myself. Okay, need some quick wire. There's some quick wire. Let's go grab some circuit boards. Get her powered up. Get a belt going in here. And there they are. High speed connectors. So sweet. At least we don't have to handcraft them. I think we need to get some gunpowder going. 
Let's go grab some coal. We got our sulfur. Grab our hard drives. And let's see if we can unlock some stuff in the ma'am. And would you look at that. Black powders being made. Cool. So we've got some black powder production. Probably need to go grab a little bit more coal. All right, a little bit of spaghetti action. But we've got compacted coal being made. So we'll let that run for a little bit. And once we get enough to unlock some stuff in the MAM, I will meet you guys over there. All right, I went ahead and collected a few things. So hopefully we can unlock a lot in the MAM. Let's see what we can unlock here. Let's start in the Caterion tree. Power poles mark three. Okay. Additional properties. Might as well, right? Quartz. Yeah, let's get the Explorer so we could drive faster. Radar technology. What do I need for that? Some more circuit boards. Let's go grab a few circuit boards. Okay, radar technology. Sulfur. Let's get some turbo fuel. Smokeless powder. The noblest detonator. Expanded tool belt. All right, well, we got a lot unlocked. We definitely want the supercomputer. And the priority power switch would be awesome. Cool. Well, when we have enough stuff, we will go ahead and do the supercomputer and the priority power switch. Okay. Well, we have a few tickets to spend, so let's go ahead and see what we can get. Let's get grip metal, steel wall, metal roof, and let's get clean pipelines. All right, let's do it. So we're on our way over to our aluminum factory to do some cosmetics on it. We need to talk about trains. But I wanted to show you guys what we have planned for the roads we've built. I have some blueprints made that are actually going to allow us to put rail underneath. So I'm going to show you guys how that's going to work. So I have these three right here. One is a rail with no support. One's a rail with support. And then I have the support that goes underneath. So let's do the one that has support. And we might as well do one that doesn't have support. And this is where our train lines are going to go. When you look at our trains. Oh, I need some steel pipes, but... Basically, our train lines are going to go underneath our roads. Because when we start building our city and small towns, we're going to use the trains as kind of a subway system that's going to deliver parts. So, I thought I would show you guys that. And hopefully, it'll look nice, especially with Lumen. So, I'll meet you guys over at the aluminum factory, and we'll do some cosmetics. All right, we're back over here at the aluminum plant. And when I first got here, the whole thing was shut down because these two smart splitters were not set to overflow. <laughs> so everything got all backed up and then it shut down, but it's all running now. It'll just take a little while to even out. But check this out. Oh yeah, we've got the hover pack now. So this will make doing some cosmetics a lot easier. So, how about we start doing some cosmetics? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed following along as we built our starter aluminum factory. And now that we have Mark V Logistics, we can start scaling up our builds. We also got all of Tier 7 unlocked. We didn't quite get to build out too many trains, but we are definitely going to do that in the next episode. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.